This is a short video on how to add a new user to NetDocuments. There are three basic steps. You create the user, put the user in the appropriate groups, and add the user to the author group. Now I'm going to take you over to NetDocuments and walk you through the process. From your NetDocuments homepage, you're going to go into Admin. You're going to come over to Add and Remove Users and Groups. So here we're going to add the new user's email address and we're going to add Carl Camacho today. And you will see the different options for Carl. He is an internal user. You can use external user for things like your IT professional or maybe a consultant that's helping you with your system for a while, but normally you're creating internal users. And the normal desktop user isn't going to have any administrative rights to make changes to your system, so they're a non-admin type. We're going to add Carl to the secretaries group and hit OK. And then I always like to come down and just make sure that he is in the group I want him to be. So I modify the group and I see that he's there, which is great. That's what we want. You'll notice up here there are some group options. I don't normally hide the group membership or group lists from users. I, I think that we're usually working with people in our firm and it's kind of nice to know who else is in your group. And again, I don't allow this user or the members of this group to create new cabinets or to upload lookup tables. Those are administrative type tasks and we don't allow normal desktop users to do that, as I said earlier. So we're going to hit OK because he's where he wants, where we want him. And then we hit Continue. OK, now we're going to go into Define Profile Attributes and add Carl as an author so that he can be an author of documents. So we go into Author and Edit, and we add Author. And the Author key is normally just your short code for somebody that you have as an author. So I use initials, and then full name. Now the type can be something like the accounting group, or a practice group, or another way that you want to segregate your authors by groups. And the close date we're not going to use because we're just opening him up and he has no litigation hold. So we're going to just hit add. And we see that he's now an author. We hit close, continue, home, and now you've added Carl as an author to your firm.